The year is 2022 and a lot of businesses are looking into custom web development. No, this is not a website design anymore. The game has significantly changed. Technology is moving at such a high pace now that out of the box cookie cutter software solutions cannot keep up with the demand of the consumer. This is why small and medium sized businesses are all turning into web app development as well as custom web development. So what does this mean? If you are an e-commerce business on a platform like Shopify or BigCommerce and you don't have advanced search and filters on your website, there is a solution that you can implement for $300 a month that gives you basic search and filter functionality. But what if you need something more? At the beginning of this video, I said cookie cutter software solutions do not work anymore. What if I want my users to search and filter their searches based on previous sales data? What if I want an AI engine to manage these search results? What if I want to show different search results based on the logged in user's preferences and previous searches? I can talk about this for hours, but you get the point. If you wanted to do something like this, then what we would do at Optimum 7, because this is a service we offer, we would integrate your Shopify or your big commerce with a system like Algolia, which is by the way, the largest database provider out there and has AI and machine learning capabilities to give you an advanced search and filter functionality that actually fulfills your requirements. This is custom web development. It's basically combining multiple systems, integrations and APIs to fix a business, technology or an operations problem. Now there are thousands of different web app developments, the different combinations. You could do it as an add-on, you could do it as an app, you could do it as a plugin, you could do it from scratch. So many ways to do this. But the key reason that you should be looking to do a web app development project is to fix your operational, your business, your marketing and your technology issues. Here are the six steps to execute a web app development project. Number one, you're gonna need a statement of work. A statement of work is a one page document that talks about why you need this project. What problems is it going to fix for you? What integrations do you need to do? Which systems need to communicate with each other at a very basic level and the features more importantly benefits. What happens when you have this thing? How does it help you? Does it help you make more money? Does it help you be more efficient? One page document so that a development team such as Optimum 7 can look at it and can guide you in the right direction. Step two is an advanced scope. Now that you have the statement of work, you need an advanced scope because whatever requirements in that statement of work document needs to be ironed out. Now we need to look at the feasibility of things. Let's say you want to use Laravel with PHP framework. Well, does the third party that we need to integrate with support that system? If I need to do a real-time integration between products, customers, and clients, is there an open API that fulfills that requirement? A development company like Optimum 7 basically runs through the entire process, the project of what needs to happen, nails down every single deliverable, every single integration, every single API, every single functionality, every sin single stakeholder, every single user role, front end and back end, and gives you a document that's an advanced scope. This document is usually 50, 60, 70, sometimes 300 pages. You can take this advanced scope and this brings us to our step three and open it up for a bid, an RFP, request for proposal. If the project is over $50,000, you might want to do this because you want to send this advanced scope to multiple organizations and get prices to make the best decision of which company you would like to work with. Step four is the kickoff call as well as the execution schedule. This is extremely important because you need to know the different steps of how this project is going to be executed, the timeline, the dependencies, the different integrations that need to happen, the access levels, security levels, which team members are going to work on which projects. The execution schedule is going to give you visibility into the project and you can hold different team members in different companies that you've hired accountable. Step five is the actual execution. Usually during step five, you want to have a weekly touch point or bi-weekly touch point with the development team to make sure that things are moving in the right direction. There will be back and forth. They might be designing a UI admin. They might be designing a front end product page. They might be designing different functionalities. Then you have the programming side of things. The back end developers are going to start coding based on the design mockups and wireframes that were created. So step five is really the actual 
phase of the project getting completed. And step six is QA and going live. Once everything is done and you confirm that everything is done and the development team confirms that everything is done, now is the QA process. Possibly your QA engineers, your team and the QA engineers at the development team go through the entire project and make sure that it functions right. It's the testing. So if it's an e-commerce site, you got to place test orders. If it's an integration, you need to do test data flows. And on the sandbox, if everything is great, you go live. Now, a six step web app development project such as this one can take three weeks or can take three years. It really depends on that first and second stages of how you plan for this web app development project. At Optimum 7, we finalize an average web app development project in three to six months. Projects range from $30,000 to a million dollars. The teams that are assigned to these projects range from three people to 30 people. But the steps and the execution really does not change that much. I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on marketing, e-commerce, custom development, and much more. Plus, new episodes of Surge, our weekly e-commerce and digital marketing podcast released every Wednesday.